we're going to learn about variables. Variables in programming are a lot like those in math. They can have names like x or y, and they also have values like negative 7 or 3.14. There are some differences too. In programming, names can have more than one letter. Variables in programming might be called money given or total cost. They can also hold more than just numbers. They might hold text, a picture, a list, almost anything. There are a couple rules for naming variables. For one, you can't have any spaces in the name. Also, the name has to start with the letter. They can have numbers too. So how can we name variables with more than one word if we can't use spaces? For instance, a variable for the total cost may be named total underscore cost. Another way is to use camel case, which means the names look kind of like a hump sum and a camel because each new word starts with a capital. An example is number of people. It doesn't really matter which convention you use, but once you choose one, it's a good idea to stick with it. Another thing to know about variables is that they have something called a type. For example, an orange might be a type of fruit, or the temperature might be a type of number. There are many, many types to choose from. But for now, we're just going to stick with the four basic ones. The types we're going to use for now are integers, doubles, strings, and booleans. Integers are positive or negative whole numbers, like 9 or negative 4. Doubles include integers, but also decimal numbers like 3.14. Strings are the name we give to variables that hold text, such as apple or hello world. Strings can contain numbers, spaces, or symbols. They need to be enclosed in double quotes. Unlike the other types, you need to capitalize the S in string when making variables. 